I had a client do this today because we wanted to get real about our bodies. And so I want to do it. I'm going to do it out here for everybody to see because I want to talk about this one time. You don't have to be perfect to help somebody get from the pit that they're in to the peak they want to be at, but you have to be self-aware. And I'm going to say that I let my body get from a place where I was happy. Like, okay, that's, that's a lie. I'm not even going to start to say that. I was never happy with my body. If you look at this picture that I shared in 2021, I was benching almost 400 pounds. I was working out every day, but I was fucking obsessed. I was obsessed with working out. I had no joy in it. You know, if you look at my face there, that is the go to work attitude I had. And it wasn't because I just wanted to be fit. It's because I was trying to hide how much I hated myself. All of these muscles, have you ever heard the, the meme? Um, where do we hide our feelings? Under our muscles. And what do we do when we have bigger feelings? We get bigger muscles. That was me. Everything about this person you see right here in this picture is that is that meme personified. I didn't even get to enjoy the fact that I was in the best shape I'd ever been in my entire life. To some people, this may not look that great. Some people may not even be able to see the difference between August 2021 and February 2024. But to me, this is, it's fucking massive. It's literally massive. My stomach is fucking giant. And I've lost a couple of pounds. Like I'm down a little bit because I've been, I've been taking the right steps because I'm a fucking, I'm a life coach for fuck's sake. Like I cannot be, once I see the truth in my life, I have to take steps to fix it. I cannot be the person who's asleep at the wheel and trying to guide other people to greatness. That's unacceptable. So I'm putting it out here for everybody to see when they say, who wants to be coached by some fat fuck? Well, I'll tell you that I'm not fat up here. My fucking mind is sharp and it is fit as fuck. And I've helped a lot of people grow and achieve a lot of great things in their lives. And they're going to get better and better. But so am I. I'm going to, I'm going to take this as inspiration I'm going to be honest with myself and say, I'm not fucking happy with where my body is right now. It, you know, it's, it's hard to fucking look at it for me. It's hard to, to see the space that you let yourself get into the sedation that we fall into because we want to be numb. We want to be okay. We want to be content. We don't want to be purpose driven and passionate in life. We just want to, we just want to not have a daily disaster. And that is not good enough for me. That is not even close to good enough. I want to, I want to live a life that I'm constantly growing. Not fat like I've grown, but I'm constantly growing my mind, my body, my being, my balance. I'm constantly getting closer to my family. I'm constantly growing my relationship with my wife. I'm constantly growing my business and growing my clients and literally helping them grow. And I'm growing closer to God. And I haven't been doing that, honestly, and up until the last, you know, couple of weeks, couple, you know, month or so, I realized that I'd been so focused on trying to grow this business that I'd let myself slip really fucking hard. And maybe part of the reason why this business was struggling so hard is because I wasn't willing to take care of myself first. I wasn't willing to look at myself and say, I'm not okay. I'm not okay with this. This is not this is not where I'm supposed to be. This is not the the vessel that God gave me to deliver people to their transformation. So if I'm going to do it live record it and you can fucking watch me. You can see how seriously I take this. You can see that I do I do have the ability to transform because I'm going to do it myself. I just stop paying attention. And that's what we all do. We all stop paying attention to all four. You can't just pay attention to your body. You can't just pay attention to your kids and your wife. You can't just pay attention to your business. You can't just pay attention to going to church. You have to do it all or else something is going to fall and it's going to pull the rest of it down with you. I'm sorry. So one of them is going to fall and it's going to pull the rest of you down with it. This that I'm looking at right now is not okay. If somebody else has this body, 
I, they are more than happy, are more than welcome to be happy with it, but I am not. I have seen and felt the power that my body is capable of. I have pushed almost 400 pounds off of my chest. I have deadlifted. Now I can barely fucking tie my shoes. I, I hope that you can, I hope that you can appreciate what that means to bear. It's unacceptable. For me, I don't care what anybody else does. I'm not trying to be compared to anybody else except for this fucking guy. This guy right here is who I'm supposed to be compared to. And right now, he he is lapping me. 2021 Bruce would whoop my ass. For one, just, just comparatively. For two, he would look at me and say, what the fuck happened? I would say, well, how sad are you, Bruce? <laughs> how How unhappy are you with your life right now? How faithful are you to your wife right now? How much porn do you watch, Bruce? And he wouldn't be able to he wouldn't be able to fucking answer. He'd run and hide from from the lie. So mentally, I'm there now. Mentally, I can handle that part. But now I gotta get back there physically. I have to bring this shit all together and show what it looks like to be a fucking warrior for God. Show people what it looks like to have it all. Because this ain't it. This ain't it, y'all. This is the frame of what it looks like. This is the start of what it looks like. Stay tuned. You will see what it looks like. You will see what it looks like to have it all. As my business blows up, as I continue to feel God's calling and, and work his works through me, as I continue to grow closer and deeper relationships with my wife and children, you will see. You will be able to feel the difference, even through this video screen, which I feel like nobody can feel who I really am through this. Because the engagement I get online does not touch the engagement I get person to person. People cry to me, you know, on the reg. People unlock their deepest secrets to me, and I can't even get a comment on this on this social media app. So I know that I need to do something like this. I need to bear it all. I need to show, yeah, I'm aware of this. I know what I look like out here. But, I, but I'm but i more than this. I'm so much more. Just follow along. You'll see. That's it for today. I challenge you to be yourself and love yourself. Like, I love myself. As much as this is not it, I still love me. I love me enough to be better. As my son says on the regular, just be better. He's joking, but I'm not. I'm better than this.